Hello everyone and welcome back to Cronus Plays Dragon Age Inquisition. Today, well we could go check out the altar, but I kind of want to go talk to Josephine again. Because I want to see... that's not Josephine. In fact, that's my bedroom. Which I wouldn't mind talking to Josephine in there. But... I was actually... I wanted to see if there was any more romance options with her. Unless the only romance option with her is actually just to go make out in the garden, which, I mean, there's there's worse options in life, obviously, but I'm, I don't know, I don't, let's go talk to her, and I'll probably just cut there, because this takes fucking forever. Alright, Josephine, anything else romantic you want to do? Man, that's like 20 episodes ago. I wanted to think it was a blessing, a sign the maker was returning to his creation. How credulous of me. Ah, shit. The anchor's magic, not holy. That's true. Uh, I believe it's be holy. No. <laughs> let's not let's not start that argument. Uh, it, it. The anchor's magic, not holy. The anchor's nothing more special than a misfired spell. At least you had the good fortune to take it from Corypheus. Does it hurt? The anchor, that is. It feels strange. Okay. I'd imagine a hole in your hand would. More like my nerves go on fire. It sounds most unpleasant. All right. A situation requires your attention, Inquisitor. Noble Chantry loyalists in the city of Jader are spreading accusations that you're responsible for the Divine's death. They're Silence him. Organized. I recommend we send people to Jader to deal with the matter. Uh, let's send some diplomats. We need some propaganda, or f eh, let's send some diplomats. Let's send some ambassadors to convince Jader I'm not a monster in disguise. Excellent. I believe there is much to be gained by winning them over. We've an interesting development, Inquisitor. A petition from citizens of Val Royale. They wish to know what Andraste said to you in the Fane. They think she spoke to me? Even Leliana can't trace the rumor's origin. It may be expedient to respond to those asking for Andraste's words. I'm sorry, I failed you, I think was her last words. Uh, say Andraste loves them. Tell these petitioners, Andraste said she cares for us always, as she walks by the Maker's side. A fine sentiment. We will have it proclaimed in Val Royal. Don't exactly like spreading rumors like that, false hope and everything, but it's they'll never know the difference. So I guess it's not really a big problem. Uh, we're famous. More proof the Inquisition's fame has spread. Fame is one thing; asking for help is another. Archon Redanus requests that the Inquisition, as a neutral party, destroy a venatory cult on the Nevaren Tevinter border. King Marcus asks the same, but demands we pledge allegiance to Nevara instead of Tevinter. Will aid Tevinter will help? Ooh. Investigate. What would you do? What course of action would you take if you were in my place? Strained as their relationship with Orle is, I would assist the Imperium. Their friendship is difficult to win, and Marcus is a fading power. Tevinter is the longer, richer game. So help Tevinter. Uh, I mean, what's King Marcus like? What sort of man is the King of Navarra? At this point, elderly. Many fear his health will soon fail him. Still, he is a pentagast. Their dynasty is exceptionally strong in Navarra. Does Cassandra support him? As a pentagast, will Cassandra be upset if we don't help her relatives? With all respect to Sigar Pentagast, her interest in politics is best described as... Yeah, I get the impression that she doesn't really care about that sort of stuff. Uh, what is that other Why guy is like? the ruler of Tevinter turning on the Venatori? He has little reason to love them. Archon Redanus has rightly identified Corypheus as competition. Few monarchs relish a self-styled god showing up to claim their throne. You know, yeah, just age Vinter. That's what you Don't wanted to do, so we'll do that. The position will do to Vinter the favor of wiping out the Venatori on its borders. Very good. I don't really want to play a pledge of allegiance to anyone, anyways. So I'm assuming. Let's talk about us. Uh, 
we need anything. Yeah, let's spend some time alone. I wanted to spend some time with just you and me, Josephine. Why? That sounds lovely. Are we going to go make out again? Because I want to see if something different happens. Don't get me wrong. Ah, oh, no, it's the same goddamn thing. At least it's almost dusk. Yeah, I wanted to see if there was more options for, like, doing more romantic couple type stuff with, I don't know, some sort of quest line. But it seems like I can just come and make out in front of Morgan and her son, which is creepy. But we actually don't need to go back in Skyhole. Let's go to the altar. And Mithal. I think it's, like, Morgan's concept art. Well, not concept art, but... I think that was, like, art from the first game. Maybe it just cleaned up. It looks like art from the first game. It's here. I can feel it. Yes. Feel it as well. There seems to be nothing out here but wilderness. I'm sure it's here. Just keep an eye out. Yeah. So I decided to bring Solus, Vivian, and Blackwall. Most because I... I don't, I don't remember last time we had Blackwall. Uh, I wanted two mages, and, well, to be fair, I don't like Dorian's, like, necromancy fair magic, so I decided these two. I could have brought Sarah or Iron Bull or one of those guys. They just, I, I kind of wanted Blackwall. I wanted the tank. Anyways, I'm going to level up these guys, and I'll be right back. All right. Oh, yeah, I turned around. I was like, how do we get by this? Do we burn it? Do we cut yeah, I guess having all characters be the same without any uniqueness kind of causes me to just kind of have the same type of party. You guys all kind of clumped up there. There's what? Oh. This is it? Wow. I thought this was going to be a bigger area. There's a chest here. Nice boobs. I mean, they're perky. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far call to me and I will come without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight. Let the fire of vengeance A big burn. dragonfly behind him. The cause is clear. A very old invocation. Perfectly translated. Oh, let's do this one because it's special. I know what this place is. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Mithal's temple. The temple was a place of justice. But this is different. This was where the elves called to her. Spoke to her. Then one day she disappeared and they had no one to speak to. Would it be That's best sad. if we left, my dear? No. Definitely stay. I'm here, Flemeth. Just as you told me. If I must master a dragon to fight Corypheus, then send it. Oh, there's the dragon. Does it have no eyes? Tame the dragon. Uh, how about I chop off its legs until it falls to the ground? Level 18. This might be hard. But it does seem to be blind. Wow. <laughs> uh, well, Solus is almost dead. <laughs> That's great. Um, I can't... Okay, there we go. So, Blackwall is like the definition of tank. So he should be able to do this. Now... I did level up most of my guys in respective trees so that they would... Where is Vivian? I saw her. There she is. Vivian, sweetie, get inside. Oh, no. That's not you. Who's that? That's Solus. There you go. Vivian, don't... Don't. You stay right there. There you go. Uh, advanced time. Awesome. Oh, no. Now I want my guy back. What was I saying? Yeah, I, uh, while I level up almost... Jesus, that's a lot of damage. Everyone relatively similarly, uh, I did keep them unique into their separate classes. That's why Dorian's kind of meh to me because of his fear abilities. I don't like it when enemies run away. 
That still hit me, huh? Wow. You ended me. Hello, Karash. So, Vivian has a heal, which is great. Um, and... Blackwell has this... He's this tanking line. I forget what it's called. It's like, I want to say it's Vanguard, but I don't think that is. I'm coming, Vivian. We might be too low level for this. If that's the case, then... Well, you'll only see one of these battles, and then I'll go back to... Oh, yeah! Got, uh... My uh, Assassin Duke in there. Should do a lot of damage to it. But yeah, if, if I am under level for it, then, then I'll just show you this battle and then we'll cut to me explaining how we're under leveled and... Okay. You guys are all the way over there, aren't you? Oh my god. Vivian, you're right there. That's good. Oh, good job on the freaking... Uh, shield. Shielding yourself, Solus. See, Blackwall should be good. Vivian, you need to not go so close to the dragon. And I don't have... That's the one I want to attack. I don't have my fade thingy up, so... How did my target change from that? I should be locked onto the back leg, but it looked like... Oh god. Oh. We only have one fucking, uh... Thing left. That's not good. Okay, that's one leg, right? Love for my Fade Rift opening thingy to be available. Who's just screaming? Oh. Uh, Assassin Dugan! Everyone is in, correct? Alright. Yay! So I knew we were going to be fighting a dragon. I just kind of thought it was going to be, uh... I don't know! I don't really know what I thought. Oh, do I have to attack another leg? Or can I not do the other leg? What the fuck was that? Assassin Dugan! I don't think that worked. There you go. Maybe I need to attack another leg at this point. Or another appendage. I didn't think it was going to be like on par with the other dragons we fought. And to be fair, I, I don't think it is. Actually, I think this one's kind of easier, because the last dragon we fought that was higher level than us, it took forever. And apparently, we're done. Or entering a new phase. Oh, you do have eyes. Why is your head glitching? Because that's just supposed to be like heat waves. Thought he was gonna roar back. I was gonna be like, oh, that's awesome. In a cringeworthy fashion. Is he now our puppy? And now it flies off. On burning wings. And now it, it flies off. I summon it once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. Now we need only find Corypheus. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I mean, we have one potion left. I've finished fights with a lot less than that. What is this? <laughs> Vivian, did you just turn the ice for a second? Uh, I'm going to assume that's a particle effect from the battle and actually nothing. 
So let's... I could probably just teleport out of here, but let's walk all the way back here. Hey guys, just came back. Kill the dragon. How's it going? Well, tamed the dragon. Haven't killed the dragon. Hey Morgan, you're back. I see, says the blind man as he pisses into the wind. Wrong side. I thought we were going to have like a cutscene. Doom upon the world. Cost zero. 16 and 19, his, uh, with his forces routed, now is the time to find Corypheus before we can recover and force him out into the open. Warning, this starts the events that lead to the end of the story. You continue to play the game afterwards, but some content might not be available. Complete any important tasks before beginning the operation. How do I know if I have important tasks? I mean, I was going to look into some of this stuff, but I don't have the power to do it today. Um... And there's a lot of stuff that I can look at. Well, let's go look at my quest log, because I got a lot of quests, aside from the Hinterlands. Kind of the game to tell me that we're getting into the end throws. I'm glad they do that. But it's also good to know that I can actually play the game after I beat the game. And still have the majority of the stuff, though not important stuff, apparently. What consists of important? Talk to Sarah about the march. Oh, let's go talk to Sarah, because we did actually do that. Uh, might as well put that on the map. So yeah, we'll do that. And then... I mean, I guess I can talk to the characters again and see if they, find, uh, if they have character quests. Because if we're at the end of the game and there's like a sacrifice option to, like for party members, like kind of there was in the first one, then... I might have to finish my character's storylines before the end of the game. To be fair, there's some... Well, okay, most of the characters... Oh, I gotta support, like, Cassandra. Oh, I should talk to Liliana about that, then. For the Chantry. Alright, now I know what we're gonna do for the rest of the... Harding! How you doing, girl? <laughs> Knew you couldn't stay away. What's new? What's been going on? Just relaxing. Taking a breath. You need to sometimes to keep sane. Tell me about yourself. So who's Scout Harding really? Me? Oh, I'm no one. Lived near Redcliffe all my life. Herded sheep for my neighbor. That the sounds fun. When came through my village, I helped by telling them everything I knew about the area. Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before it was swallowed up by... that thing out there. Alright, well... Take care. Since I'm dating Josephine, I probably shouldn't try to flirt with you, but I totally would. I mean, Josephine's the only woman for me, obviously. Where is Sarah? Sarah Sutherland. Hello, Th Sutherland. You know you're in this game. Sarah's over here, right? She has like a little, little nook and cranny. Hey, Golem, how's it going? Oh, hi, yeah. Listen, stand there. Right there. Now, about Miss Arl. What should my reaction be? <laughs> Sarah, I don't know what reaction you want, but can this be it so we can be done? All right, so maybe it's still you. Someone needed to do something. I mean, you went wading into a well of sorrows. Who hears that and thinks, well, done, Kabut, let's have a go. Even mad old Abelas said elves destroyed themselves. The only believable bit in a sea of clear demon bait. It makes messing with their relics real stupid. So, test done. You're still you. We can leave these lies behind. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. This threat was a test? How was aiming an arrow at my face a test? I heard once that if you're possessed, the demon will defend itself against attack. Sounds stupid to say it out loud. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know demons. At least, if it's true, the arrow's right there. I'm sorry, yeah. Morrigan's probably got better ways, but who can trust her? Never again, you hear me? Uh, yeah, sure, never again, you hear me? Never do that to me again. Fine, all right. Sorry I don't know how to deal with rubbish no one was meant to. All right, you think, uh, Mithal was all lies? You seem pretty certain. You don't believe anything from Mithal? Of course not. Well, I should believe all that stuff, because elves. I mean, it was impressive and all. Makes the Dalish look like tits for living in the woods, but so what? 
There can't be a bunch of gods and the maker. Don't matter how much or little you believe, those don't fit. What if so they're all one? Stupid, or part of I believe the stuff not them. made up by dead people who failed. Mythal is a ruin full of demons. I mean, it just makes sense, right? But what if some of it's true? Because like I was saying, like, there's the maker. And what if the maker... I don't want to go into, like, philosophy about religion because that's stupid to do on the internet because that's when you get, like, stupid amounts of, like, comments in. But thinking about it, like, maybe they're all part of the maker that are just kind of branched off. Like, so Mythal's actually part, some part of the maker. But what if some of it's true? There's so much history there. What if some of it is true? No, now you're stupid. You can't think that because it's stupid. But everything we saw. Why believe it? Because Abelas looked weird. If that's all it takes, Kariffi's shit heel is full of lumpy truth. You're not Maybe. even an elf. Why are you being so damned elfy? You're the frigging herald of Andraste. Every time you open your mouth, you'll sound like an idiot. Uh, I could close your mouth for good. It hasn't stopped you. Well, it works for you, so I'm in good company. Words are dumb. Haven't had an argument yet. I can't end with arrows. Let me know when you want me to discuss it with Kariffy shit. I wanted to tell you that we marched your fucking prank through examine. Oh, I already read this. Hey. Come on, Schmeagle, let's talk. Was good pay for you, Inquisitor. Time to go see if my friends came through too. Got a location for a stash. Hopefully, something nice for my trouble. Well, your trouble. Just let me know when you're ready to head out. Be sure to bring your empty pockets. Let's go now. I'm ready if you are. Always, yeah. My favorite part, this. Let's go see what friends can get us. All right, so Sarah's with us. So this is Sarah's quest. We already did Cassandra's. Let's take Black Wall because I haven't had him in a while. And Iron Bull because. Wait, this is weird. What? I was expecting a village or something. The people that leave me stuff don't trek out to places like this. Give me a city and I'll give you a tour, but surprise, surprise. Why are you blue? I stupid woods or ruins. What's that? Don't hurt me. Harmond made me do it. Of course it's gone wrong. Right. Things have gone sour. As they do. No, no, it, it has to go right or he'll kill me for the marching. It wasn't my fault. You were the one with the rumor out of Vachelle. My friend. You're her. You're the one he's waiting for. It's her. She's here. Red Jenny. Oh, oh, lovely. Who are we fighting? You guys, huh? Mercenary, mercenary, mercenary war master. All right. Iron Bull, you get that one, because uh, he's one of you guys. Oh, that's not him. <laughs> get away from the guy with the giant hammer. Surprisingly, that worked jumping away from him, though. Leave me alone. Ow. You guys look like the guy that was just killed. Oh. Uh, Sassen Dugan. I missed. There we go. Oh, hold on. I was not aware the Inquisitor was personally involved. This is a tragic misunderstanding. Let's all sheathe our swords, you walk out, and we'll conduct this like business. Don't believe this piss bag. He started it. Yeah, I'm all up for killing them. Where is he? So, where are we? The flooded caves. Oh, we're in, uh, Crestwood. Have I not been up here before? Been here, came down there, there was a waver in there. Oh, uh, this looks like it's just like a secluded area. Alright. Uh, go over here first. Anything over here? Just in case I can't get back here. Hi, noble man! There. That wasn't so hard, was it? We identified the confusion, and we worked past it. I'm Lord Pell Harmond. I do hope, Inquisitor, that you continue to respond to reason, 
After all, your choice of company is hardly virtuous. Freaking user you are. Another noble prick who punches down. We're the same, you and I. Well, that is overstating it. You are nothing like me. But we both need people. Wait, are you talking to me or Sarah? Anyways, Sarah, while sometimes a hard pill to swallow, is an ally of mine. You want to talk now, but Sarah is my ally. You attacked her friends. Come now. You know how much her meddling cost me? Because apparently you were complicit. Honestly, previous to this very moment, I thought you'd also been tricked by these red jennies. I have a weird I feeling you're not amazing. leaving here alive. As Inquisitor, you are a social peer. I attacked them on behalf of us both. Arse biscuit. <sighs> Lovely. Quite. Inquisitor, Herald, I don't want to be your enemy. I'm barely invested in being hers. If you are willing to recognize an opportunity, we could be exceptional partners. Ooh. Okay, so Sarah will probably just want to kill him, which is fine. Uh, or I can make him into like a servant for the Inquisition, which is cool. Sarah. Wait, you did? You killed innocent contracts? The servants you killed. Contacts? They did nothing except talk about what was going on. You killed my contacts. My friends. That is entirely true. Well, that should be that then. You're the one who empowered them, made their complaints a threat. Perhaps you should have warned them about talking to you. Stop talking to him. Really, just stop it. All right, kill him. What? Uh, now, what was the point of that? Ugh. Ooh. Mother, puss bucket, oh. bastard, shite bag, piss face. Eat it, you lopped son of an ass, not rock for a piece of. Sarah. Uh, what? I think it's dead. I think you're done. At this point, you're making wine. That's oh, disgusting. That makes it worse. Friends, Inquisitor. Better than his lot any day. Hey, you. Know what? Thanks. Felt good to stomp the smile off that pisshead's face. It doesn't go bad like that often, yeah? But when it does, they deserve it. Uh, unpredictable, worth it, no more mistakes. Uh, unpredictable, worth it. Risky, but keep it within the Inquisition and I'll support you. Even though this puckered around us? Even so. Well, good then. Right, what do you mean? Because I am really not used to that. Exceptions. Thing you're doing right there. I want us to be friends? Friendship is magic. We'll have some differences, but I want to be one of your friends. You're pretty big to be one of my contacts. Important, I mean, not fat. But all right. I'm kind of fat. You're on my good side. We'll see if it lasts. Red Jenny attends a party operation available. I guess we'll go do that oper uh Yeah, actually, I should have all my agents available because, truth be told, I think I could only send, like, one out because I didn't have anything else. I was thinking about just getting resources. Where the fuck's the exit? Oh, there. All right, let's see what this party is. Red Jenny attends a party. Surely the Inquisitor cannot be part of such a thing and seems to seem the bank price to intentionally disrupt the such of affair. And Okay, so this is pretty much Josephine's like, why are we doing this? We shouldn't be doing this. And the other two are just like, yeah, we can do it. I will do it literally on his lights out, no murder. Yeah, going to take an hour and 45 minutes. Which means that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press the like button below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you head over to my video section, check out some of my other content, and see if it's to your liking. Next time, uh, we'll probably go around, talk to some more characters.
see if we can get some character quests like we did today with uh, Sarah. And I'll probably decide on what I'm going to be doing about all the freaking side quests. I got a lot of Grey Warden stuff that we need to find as well. And Venatory stuff. I'm going to assume that the... The, the silly quests like, uh, you know, find camps and whatnot are going to still be available end game. So I'm not too concerned about that. I assume the dragons are going to be still around end game as well. The rifts might be different. I don't know if they'll still be around, but I might try to close those as well. So there might be some days where I'm just kind of like not uploading an episode for this after we do the character stuff. Just so I can get some of, like, the side quests done. Because, yeah, I got, one, limited time. And, two, a lot of side quests to do. So, yeah, again, thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all next time.